In 2011, we had a US tour booked with an American band. I think it was Protest the Hero, which uh, was all confirmed and then fell apart. And we already had our flights booked, so we were kind of fucked. And luckily we got on the Devon Townsend tour instead, which was happening more or less around the same time, also starting on the East Coast. But that tour finished two weeks earlier in Vancouver and our flights were booked two weeks later out of New York City. So we were stranded on the West Coast and had to get back to the East Coast. And we basically just reached out via Facebook to try to book some shows on the way. And that resulted in this, like in hindsight, very bizarre run of shows of playing house shows in places like Omaha, Nebraska, in um, rehearsal spaces in the basement under a living room. And one of those shows back then was the one and only time ever we played Boise, Idaho. And Colby was at that show. And it turned out that Colby is a friend of an old childhood friend of mine, and they went to high school together back in the 90s. My name is Colby Blair, the last resort outfitter. Um, we're here in central Idaho. I know the ocean through Phil Vilka, mutual friend uh, from Germany. Um, he was an exchange student here in central Idaho, and then, um, you know, of course he went back, and then I'd visit, uh, play music over there, and I think the entire time, you know, we were over there in little bands, um, everybody who would talk about doing music, they always say like, I want to sound like the ocean. So it's like a very influential band back then when I was starting to play music. So I still talk to Phil quite a lot. Um, we started saying like, hey, you know, these guys are, they're coming through Salt Lake City to Portland. Um, you know, of course, like I started to go into shows I was like, man, you know, it's a pretty easy layover. It makes a lot of sense. But when we came back to the States years later, Colby invited us to come crash at his place in Idaho, which is situated exactly halfway between Salt Lake City and the Pacific Northwest. So we were like, okay, that kind of makes sense. And we didn't really know what to expect. And once we pulled up there, we couldn't believe it. We started the last resort lodge in our little guided uh, fishing business here in central Idaho in 1992. Um, it was started by my dad, Jim Blair. It's just this amazing place in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, like on a creek basically, an old wooden building with a fireplace and bedrooms for everyone. There's like a moose on the wall and bear skins and everything. And um, it's just an incredible place. <laughs> you know, it's a little bit out of the way here obviously but um yeah it's uh it's been a good layover for the guys they get a day off and they get to get out and hike and get out of the bus so it's pretty cool to have the guys around Colby um, has always been incredibly warm and welcoming, making us breakfast, driving us around like rednecks on the back of his pickup truck uh, to this gorge where we are right now. And we had a nice hike here today and it's just so beautiful here. It's like you won't run into people the whole day, you know, it's just nature. And um, that is really nice and revitalizing and good for mental health on a tour to break the monotony of just like venue after venue and you know asphalt tarmac roads sure touring is just really frenetic i mean i'll watch the guys tour and before i know it they're in central america south america i can't, I can't even believe it so um i'm sure the the trials of the road are pretty pretty crazy but we're really glad to be able to share stuff like this and and hopefully uh keep people going and yeah, it's just really nice to just breathe fresh air and be out here for a few hours before we continue to Portland. <laughs>